So in the last example, we constructed a scatter plot. We discussed its trend, shape, and strength. So what you can start to notice as you look at some more scatter plots it, is that it can be easy to identify when two data sets or two variables have a very strong or very weak association. So anytime you're talking about extreme cases, those are always easy to see. If it follows an almost perfectly straight line, if it's all scattered and there seems to be no pattern. Um, so the question becomes, how do we start to classify or describe the actual strength rather than just using words like fairly strong, moderately strong. So we, what we want to introduce is a measurement called the linear correlation coefficient. So the linear correlation coefficient, represented as either a lowercase r or a capital R, just depending on the source you're looking at, is used to measure the strength of the association between our two variables. So our value for r, that linear correlation coefficient, is always going to be a number between negative 1 and 1. And we can interpret it based off whether it's closer to negative 1, closer to 1, or closer to 0. So as R approaches positive 1, <clears throat> we have a strong positive linear association. So the closer that number is to 1, the stronger our association is. We know it's a linear association, and since it's approaching positive 1, we have a positive association. As R approaches negative 1, we have a strong negative linear association. So as we get values closer to negative 1, the strength of that associ association becomes stronger, and we classify it as a negative association. Now that use of the words positive and negative can be a little confusing sometimes. When we use those, we're not talking about the association being good or bad. We're talking about the direction in which our variables change. So looking back at our scatter plots here, this first one, we notice that as our x values increase, our y values are also getting larger. So if we increase x, y also increases, we would refer to that as a positive association. So a positive association, an increasing trend, meaning the same thing. And in our example down here, we have a decreasing trend we see that as our x values decrease, or I'm sorry, as our x values increase, so as we get to higher x values along the x-axis, our y values are actually decreasing. So an increase in x corresponds to a decrease in that y value. We would refer to that as a negative correlation, or a negative association. So again, doesn't mean good or bad, it just talks about how the variables change. Positive meaning that they change together, if one increases, the other increases, or if one decreases, the other decreases, versus a negative association, if one variable increases, the other decreases. So they're changing in opposite directions of each other. So that's as our value for R gets close to negative one. As R gets closer to zero, then we would say that we have a weak or no linear correlation or no linear association. So values near 1 and negative 1, strong linear associations. Values near 0, we start to get a weaker or potentially no association whatsoever. Now one thing to keep in mind here is that values in between 1 and 0 or negative 1 and 0 are still somewhat subjective. So if you have a correlation coefficient of 0.6, that's closer to 1, but not terribly close, versus 0.3, which is closer to 0, but still not quite at 0. So there is still some subjectivity with some of those different values. So in example 2, we want to calculate the linear correlation coefficient for the data that we had in example 1, and use that to see what can we say about the association between these variables. So here's the scatter plot that we already constructed. Now what we want to do is, in addition to that, calculate the correlation coefficient. 
So we'll select stat, summary stats, and then correlation. We'll select the two variables that we want to consider. So for correlation, we always need two variables to consider. And then we'll select compute. And this is going to output that correlation statistic for us. So in this case, a little over 0 0.87. So the correlation coefficient for these two variables is r equals 0 0.8793, depending on where we were to round that off, which supports our original statement that there is a fairly strong positive, since again in this case that value is getting closer to positive 1, so a fairly strong positive linear association. So that number just gives us a way to, again, measure the strength. Rather than looking at the graph and interpreting it, we can look at a numerical value that just depicts for us how strong or how weak that association is. So in example 3, we want to do essentially the same thing, but in this case we want to flip the order of our two variables to see what changes. So we have a correlation right now of 0.8793. We'll select stat, summary stats, and correlation. And this time I'm going to select the variables in the opposite order. So variable 2, then variable 1. And what we see is that we get exactly the same correlation coefficient. So the order of our variables doesn't change the correlation coefficient, but it will change the way our graph looks a little bit. So in this original scatter plot, I selected, um, which variable did I select first? The roller coasters as the x-axis, the amount contributed to tsunami aid as the y-axis. So we'll create a scatter plot and switch those two variables around. So what we can see here is the shape of the graph looks a little bit different. Just that pattern is sort of a mirror image of itself. So depending on the order that we put information into a scatter plot, that can change the picture a little bit, but doesn't do anything to affect the strength of the association. So the strength of the association is not affected by the order of our variables. So let's take a look at one last example here, calculating some correlation coefficients. Uh, the table below provides information on the number of ghost sightings and UFO sightings per state as of November 2012. We want to construct a scatter plot for this data and discuss the trend, shape, and strength of the association between the two variables. So with our updated data in StatCrunch, we want to construct a scatter plot. We'll indicate our two variables. And again, provide an interpretation for the scatter plot. So we have, again, a fairly moderately strong linear association. We have points that are following, in general, that straight line pattern. It's, again, a positive association. So give me just a second here. So we could say in this case there is, again, a fairly strong positive linear association. So as ghost sightings increase in a given state, so do UFO sightings. So those two variables are increasing together. So now what we want to do is calculate the correlation coefficient. And again, just check to see does that support our visual estimation of the, the strength of that association. So we'll select stat, summary stats, and correlation. Select our two variables and click Compute. 
In this case, we have an even stronger association than we did in the previous example. So the correlation coefficient is R equals 0 0.9355. Again, again, depending on how many decimal places we want to round that to. Which supports our statement that a strong positive correlation exists. So actually, in this case, this number comes out to be closer to 1 than I might have guessed based off my kind of visual inspection of that. I was guessing that was a fairly strong uh, association, but in this case we're getting values that are above 0.9, so we're getting very close to that value of 1, which means we've got a very strong association between those two.